Good morning. This is Jamie, and I'm here at Alchemical Vitality doing my daily check-in, keeping myself accountable. This is like a very extreme way of keeping myself accountable, but it's working, so here we are. However, I believe I'm going to switch to once a week check-in. I don't have a lot of numbers to share on a daily basis, and I think it's more interesting for maybe others to check in weekly to see what my results were and what I did for the week. And I've been on this journey for a lot of years, back and forth, up and down. I've lost weight, I've gained weight, I've I, you know, come close to healing and then reverted back to um, illness again. And so I am just taking charge. This is, now's the time. There's no waiting, there's no delay. So here we are, and I'm sharing this journey with you. So I'm gonna switch screens to my Carb Manager app, which I love. I highly recommend it if you are trying a ketogenic diet for the first time, or even if you've done it for a while, it's easy to keep track of things this way. Um, yesterday, I had not a lot of food. I just didn't, I was so busy yesterday running around and with my um, my work that I just didn't have time to really think about food. I ate one meal yesterday. Typically, I do eat only one meal, and then once or twice a week, I'll change that up. And sometimes I fast for 16 hours, and sometimes I fast for 24 hours, and sometimes I fast for three days. Uh, it just depends on what I'm feeling, and I listen to my body, and I actually enjoy not eating. I'm one of those people that I can fast, and I really like it. Um, and it actually helps me. It does calm down the inflammation in my body and gives me a sense of peace and wellness, and I feel more connected spiritually to you know, everyone and all beings in the planet and my God source. So it's kind of a cool thing. So if you ever try fasting, consult your doctor, but it, you know, there's a lot of benefits to it. And so my net carbs were 12. My calories were about a thousand fat, 41 and protein. It was a higher protein day, less fat. It's fine. You know, switch it up. Don't, don't get your body used to one thing. When you allow your body to adapt to different things, it will show you more results, I think, I believe. So then yesterday I had dinner at about, actually I think I had dinner at two. It was actually 1.30. That was dinner at 1.30, yes, I did say that right. And I had a huge meal. And I mean, I, I ate all my calories. I ate almost 1,100 calories in one meal. <clears throat> It was a great day. I had a fun day with my kids. We went on a field trip and um, it was just a really good day yesterday. So, and then I, you know, went back to my office and I worked and then after work, I was done. I was tired. So my energy levels yesterday were low and I would say they were about a five. I did not exercise while well, I walked for two hours, two hours of walking. My stress was low, and I don't do that. So going on to today, I am eating three meals today, or two to three meals. I just really wanted to do that. My goals, 135 to 140 in weight. My exercise consistent. Um, clothing size, six to eight. Sleep, seven to eight hours. Energy level, you know, eight to 10. Why not? I can have that best life, can't I? Can I have that energy level be high? We all can. Um, no, no. Fasting sugar, no. Weight this morning. Yay, I lost two pounds. That was, yesterday I was 167, 167.8 I believe, and I was 165 today. My ketones were at 1.5, and um, although I'll be eating all day, I will be eating ketogenically, whole foods, nothing processed, nothing packaged, um, nothing that has ingredients that I don't know what they are or any kind of chemicals that I'm aware of. That works best for me because the chemicals in food often make me sick, tired, give me inflammation, and I just, I don't like the way they make me feel. So I choose to read my packages. If I buy something that's in a package, it's got to have ingredients. I know what they are, exactly what they are. So that is definitely how I live my life. Uh, 72 ounces of water today. I'm gonna up my water today. So I had breakfast, I had eggs and bacon, an avocado, 
And um, yeah, so my week results that I did not do yesterday, my week results, let's put that up here, were was, I think I was at 173 when I started. And I didn't weigh myself on my weigh-in app, but I weighed myself and didn't log it. So 173. So yeah, I mean, that's eight pounds. And a lot of that is um, water and inflammation, which is amazing. Like don't, I mean, if you lose 10 pounds the first week you're on a plan of some sort, that's great. That's just stored water. It just needs to go out, revitalize your body. Um, and then I actually had a mini goal of 10%, which is 16 pounds. And I am almost there. I mean, I say it, we're almost there. And then um, I, on my personal calendar, I write down like my mini goals for each week. I don't always reach them. And, and not, it's just a number. It's really about vitality and how you feel, like how I feel at the end of the week. And so week one, I feel good. I have more energy. Uh, my sleep quality is still poor. My, um, my body feels better. I was able to do a full body workout this week, which was great. And it left me sore for a few days, but I am exercising again. And that's really good. That's a positive. So I did, ex I do have more movement in my week than I did before. And then um, my goal that I wrote on my personal calendar was 165 by Saturday, and this is Saturday, and I'm at 165. So I think there's a mental game that you know we play too. If we're looking at our goals daily and we have these little mini goals and we're programming our subconscious mind with these things, then they will unfold for us and we'll take actionable steps to reach them because the key is the action. You got to do the work. So that is it. I will be checking in next Saturday with uh, my next week's results. My week, I have planned a water fast for all, well, water liquid fast for 24 hours, maybe longer, maybe 36. I also plan to, um, and I have already cut out dairy and uh, no wheat, no gluten at all. So that's my own biohack. I know those two things really don't do well in my body and they mess with me and my weight and my vitality. So those are out for the week. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to do more full body workouts with my weights and try to uh, do cardio at least five times this coming week. So with that said, I will check in next week and I hope you all have a great day. Make it a great week and get on your journey if you haven't already. Just do it. And if you got to record it and put it on YouTube to keep yourself accountable, do that too. Why not? Who cares? We're all sharing our story. We're all here to share and to learn from one another. So just do it. That's all I have to say about that. Have a great week.